dusty samples from the most dangerous known rock in the solar system have been brought to Earth. NASA successfully delivered precious materials to Earth inside a capsule that landed in the West Desert of Utah. These materials were collected from the surface of asteroid Bennu in 2020 by the Osiris-Rex spacecraft. NASA's interest in Bennu goes beyond scientific curiosity, as this asteroid has a remote chance of colliding with Earth in the next 300 years. Moreover, these samples hold the promise of offering new insights into the formation of the solar system some 4.6 billion years ago, and intriguingly, the potential origins of life on our planet. The Osiris-Rex team celebrated when they spotted their capsule on long-range cameras. Subsequently, in a temporary clean room, the carefully removed components, such as the heat shield and back cover. The capsule touched down on Department of Defense owned desert land at 8.52 local time, 14.52 Greenwich Mean Time, ahead of schedule by three minutes. The Cartier-sized capsule had entered Earth's atmosphere over the western U.S. at an astonishing speed of over 27,000 miles per hour. It was gently slowed down by hit shield and parachutes, landing precisely on the designated restricted area, appearing to touch down as gently as a feather. Scientists eagerly await the opportunity to examine the valuable cargo, estimated to weigh around 250 grams, 9 ounces, before landing. Despite its seemingly small mass, this quantity is more than sufficient for the extensive tests and analyses that NASA intends to conduct, including high-resolution studies. To retrieve the capsule, helicopters were dispatched to the landing site, emphasizing the importance of maintaining cleanliness throughout the process. Recovery teams swiftly transported the capsule to a temporary clean room at the nearby Dugway Army base, ensuring that any potential contamination with present-day Earth chemistry, particularly if the sample contains carbon compounds linked to the origin of life, was avoided. This transfer was completed shortly before 13 o'clock local time, a mere four hours after touchdown. The laboratory team dismantled the capsule, removing the head shield and back cover while safeguarding the sample within an inner canister. The collected rock is anticipated to be soft and fragile, potentially containing clay minerals with water locked within their structure, abundant carbon, carbonate minerals, and possibly chondrules and calcium aluminium inclusions. For transportation, a C-17 aircraft will ferry the samples to a curation facility in Texas. NASA has scheduled a press conference on October 11th to provide an initial overview of the findings. Small specimens will be distributed to research teams worldwide, with expectations of reporting on a diverse array of studies within the next two years. One pivotal aspect of sample return missions is the prudent allocation of 75% of the sample for storage, ensuring future generations have the opportunity to explore it using technologies and instruments that may not yet exist in today's laboratories. Ben Uvens opened a window to our past and our future, reminding us that the universe continues to hold secrets waiting to be unlocked. If you're passionate about the wonders of space and the mysteries of the universe, don't miss out on the latest cosmic adventures. Subscribe to our space channel today and join our community of space enthusiasts. Until next time, farewell.